is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're finally getting back to the interior of the E30 right here and we're gonna be painting that carpet right there. A few days ago I went ahead and cleaned up this beige carpet right here. Um, I just scrubbed it down with some degreaser, sprayed it all down, cleaned it up as much as possible, got some of the stains out. Overall, it looks pretty clean, but I'll go ahead and drop those clips in right now. So this is a few days ago. I went ahead, washed this entire thing. As you can see, it's kind of drip drying right now as we speak. I just finished washing it, took a pressure washer to it, added a little bit of degreaser in there. Uh, and then this is the other piece as well. This is drying. So this is gonna take about a few days to dry, I would say. And then once it's fully dry, we'll go ahead, vacuum it up, make sure there's no dust or anything in there, and then start painting it. And I just used some simple green all-purpose cleaner or degreaser just to get it all cleaned up. Make sure there's no gunk in there, which was pretty dirty. Like the water that's dripping in here is not completely clean. It's a little bit yellow, which is kind of disgusting, but it's all good. Now that we have it all cleaned up, I went ahead and did a little test spot just so we know that this is gonna come out right. And I'm kind of glad I did. So as you can see on camera, the carpet looks great. It looks completely black. And um, I think overall it came out really, really good. And this is how it looks in the light. Now the only downside is that um, I was reading through and I found out that you actually need to brush the carpet between each coat just so you can get every kind of fiber and the fibers don't get stuck together. And I didn't do that to this piece right here. Now, luckily enough, this piece sits right from the floor to the top of the seat. So it sits right, you're not gonna see this carpet much, but I'm glad I went ahead and tested it so that way I know when I do the actual full carpet, I need to use this and brush it after each coat just so we get every single fiber and every side of the fiber and stuff like that. This is the spray that we're using. It's Duplicolor Vinyl and Fabric Spray. The stuff I've heard is pretty good. You can also use the Ritz dye from Michaels, Walmart or stuff like that. And there's a few other companies that make this type of vinyl and fabric spray. So you can use this, it's on Amazon. It's not too bad, it's like $20 a can, $17 a can, something like that. But we also need to go ahead and take apart this panel right here, get these speakers out because this also needs to get painted as well as these pieces right here. This one isn't cleaned up just yet, but I went ahead and cleaned up this piece. So it looks a lot better but both of these need to be cleaned up and then these need to be painted as well. So I need to get that done. Then I guess in one of the future videos, we're gonna go ahead and try tackling the headliner. Unfortunately for the headliner, you, it's very hard to take it out, so I don't wanna take it out. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just take out all those handles and stuff, tape up as much of the corners of, as possible, get everything else covered and just spray it while it's in the car. That might just be the easiest route to take, to be honest. So we got the first coat done, and I think it's gonna take about four or five coats, but very, very light coat. And then after this dries, we're gonna go ahead and brush it with this brush right here, even out all the fibers, and then spray it again. And we're just gonna continue doing that until it's done. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take apart the speaker system. So that just pops off. This is gonna have to come off because that's all pretty beat up. We need that. Uh, let me know if this is something you need, because I really don't think so. But then again, I don't really know either. So I just spent some time taking everything apart. I got the little vents that go on the back of this deck out. I actually even took up part the speakers so for the speakers there's just these four screws and then another two right here and then to get this entire assembly apart it's just the four screws in the corner you take those off and it looks like they just all oh, got stuck to the speaker but yeah you just take those off this should pop up and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing the same thing to this side this entire panel still needs cleaning as well as all the little plastic pieces that are gonna get painted so these need to be cleaned this needs to be cleaned as well um, there's actually like a rubber gasketing that goes around these so they stay in place so I took those off I'm gonna go ahead and clean these as much as possible this one still has a fabric on the back but 
Yeah, so now we got everything disassembled. I even got the rubber gasket off these two pieces. Got the speaker out on this side. Now we just need to go ahead and clean up everything before we start painting all these parts right here. It's been a good 15, 20 minutes since I started this, so that first coat should be dry now. I'm gonna go ahead and start brushing that one up and then spray number coat number two and then hopefully come back to this um, and then clean all these pieces up. I'm not sure if this piece comes off. It doesn't look like it. Let me check on the bottom side real quick. Uh, oh, it does. And just like that, we got this piece as well. So, looks like we got the entire deck completely stripped down. So, this is coat number two. As you can tell, it's a good amount darker. You're still gonna see some lines. I think you're gonna see those until the fourth coat, maybe the fifth coat. But I did brush it down with that brush, and I think two coats used almost a full can. Luckily, we have four more cans here, so I think we're gonna end up using three on that carpet by itself and then that leaves us two cans for these few pieces right here now that carpet is the main piece that I want to get painted black and I want to make sure it looks as good as possible so I think I'm gonna hold off on painting these just for the time being paint that entire carpet first and then come back to these if I have extra paint left over because this entire piece right here to get it this dark took an entire can um, so this one is basically empty and that took the entire can and That was about six coats So I want that carpet to look like this and if that's the case I might even end up using more than three cans which if I run out I don't want to run out halfway So I'd rather finish that project out first and then come back to these like that we got coat number three done it's looking pretty dark but in person you can still see a few lines especially right here in the back areas so we're gonna do I think two more coats just to be safe get it all pitch black and then uh, start doing the rest of the interior parts so I think we got the fourth coat downstairs on the carpet done and in the meantime I went ahead and vacuumed this entire thing it's looking pretty clean um, we went ahead and agitated it with this and as well as another brush and then I went ahead and cleaned up all the other pieces as well, so they're just drying in here. These are the speaker housings, speaker covers. This thing is still wet, so this needs to dry up, as you can see. And we got all of those done, and we only have one can left of this. Overall, we got four coats, I think, so we're gonna need one more just to be safe. We just went ahead and picked it up from each corner and then sprayed it at different angles just to help the paint get all the way into the bottom of the carpet. And overall, I think it looks great. So one more coat, we should be good. And then it's currently drying in the sun right now. So that's also a good thing. Better than spending $400 on a new carpet. And just like that, four cans later, it looks really good. So I did focus on the areas that are exposed a little bit more than the rest of the carpet, but overall very happy with the outcome. Now we got one last can. Let's go ahead and tackle the rest of the interior parts. Hopefully we have enough. I might stop by Michael's, see if they have some more. Maybe even grab that Ritz uh, dark carpet or clothing dye, see if that helps. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this done because it's been a long day. Two coats on this one right here, it's already looking pretty good. And then two coats on all of this as well. This is covering up super nice. Uh, these not so much, but I'm continue spraying it. Hopefully after three or four coats, it should look pretty solid. Um, and then the mesh obviously looking pretty good already. So let's throw on two more coats on each of these and then finish this out as well. So it's the next day now. Yesterday, I didn't want to touch anything too much. I just wanted to let it dry properly. Uh, just so I don't leave some fingerprints on the wet paint or anything like that and now everything is looking absolutely amazing So this is how all of the rear deck and the speaker covers came out um, This is all a little bit rougher than before because I didn't brush it as much as I did the carpet But it looks absolutely great 
um, it covered all the little stains and this thing was actually multiple color for some reason I guess the Sun caused it to fade a little bit but it covered up super well and even all the speaker housing and stuff came out really nice so you can tell how smooth that vinyl uh, spray is and this looks kind of OEM which is exactly what I was going for so it looks great I even painted the little mesh coverings for the speakers you can't even tell that this was painted looks right one thing I was really happy about is how these speaker covers came out as you can tell you can still see the leather kind of lines inside of it usually when you paint something it usually covers that up fills it up and you can't really see it as much but this came out great I'm really happy with the outcome of it now the carpet was sitting outside but we moved it in just so it wasn't raining or anything or stuff didn't fall on top of it but but overall the carpet looks great you can't even tell this thing was beige before like if I zoom in all the way you cannot tell that this carpet was another color it looks pitch black in person even when we had it sitting outside you couldn't really tell that this carpet was another color and I'm really happy with it how it looks now even the leather got all covered there's no cracks it doesn't feel weird carpet still feels pretty soft not as soft as it was before it's painted obviously there's gonna be some type of texture change but overall I think spending $50 on carpet dye was well worth it um, I really didn't want to spend four to six hundred dollars on a new carpet and my carpet wasn't really that bad so this route worked perfectly for me now I just need to throw all this back into that speaker shelf and let me just do that real quick right now. We got everything back in speakers are back in we got the little vents back in and it looks great like you can't even tell that this was painted which was the goal um, overall I did get rid of that mesh because it was ripping apart I didn't add a new one I'm not sure if that was for acoustics or not but it's gone speakers do look good inside of the black housing now um, so I'm overall very happy with the process now if this is something that you plan on doing for your E30 and making a little project out of it I had six cans of the vinyl fabric spray. I did four cans on the carpet. I would honestly do five just to be safe and add a little extra coating. And again, like I mentioned before, I would pick up the carpet from different angles and then spray it. So it gets better overall coverage and the carpet's gonna be looking good. But four is just fine, it looks dark enough. So happy with that. And I used one can on the small piece of carpet that goes from the floor to the seat. And then I used one entire can for all of these pieces right here. My recommendation would be grab two extra cans, so a total of eight, and you can comfortably finish this entire project. Um, I was a little bit scarce, especially on these. I think these only have three coatings per, so I would try to get one more with an extra can if possible. Uh, but if you have six cans, you can definitely do it. It's definitely possible. So let me know what you thought of this video. If you have an E30 or if you have any old car and you want to change up the interior color, go ahead and grab some of that vinyl fabric spray. You can change up, You can. there's so many different colors. You can make it black, you can make it brown, but overall, I'm very happy with the outcome and I would definitely do this again if I had another older car. Um, it could save you a lot of money. Like I said, the carpet is four to $500, maybe even $600 for some better, um, for some better condition carpet. So saving that much money by spending $50 for some final fabric spray, I would, it's a no brainer kind of, right? If it goes, if it looks bad at the end, you go get another carpet, but overall, very happy with the outcome. Keep can't keep stressing that enough. So if you wanna do it, I would highly recommend go give it a try yourself and see how your interior turns out. But I appreciate you all watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos on the E30. Hopefully we can get this car back up and running. So definitely stay tuned. Appreciate you all watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.